I will admit my last few videos have been messing with my 67 Mercury station wagon, but I'm going to a buddy's uh, car lot today that is not your average car lot. Everything from unbelievably rare first-gen Camaros to Ferrari Romas to anything in between, man. There will always be a very entertaining video within those walls. Let's go check it out. It's Stingray Chevrolet in Florida. What? Big old what? 66, 67 Charger? Okay. And... Steve Hurley is one of the big dudes here. That's his little 911. That is a bad dude. You should hear that thing just idle. I know you're thinking that's all new stuff, but wait till we walk through these doors. The 06. I actually saw, I had a guy uh, roll up beside me the other day in, in a Z06 C8, like that one out there, and uh, pulled up beside me at a light, and I was in the high performance street Prius, uh -huh. so he was obviously shaking. How many miles are on that one? 20. 20, like with a period? Two zero. Okay, there's not a comma. No, 20 miles. So this has the, the six cylinder. Six cylinder, slant six. Slant six. The slant is how it gets its power. A lot of people don't yes. know that. Yes. If it had been straight up and down, it would have been very lackluster. Oh wait, what? Oh, look at that. Oh. Somebody, somebody said, let's just go ahead and mess with people's heads and make them think it's got a Hemi in it. <laughs> Blue line tires? has a fold down rear seat. These things are so cool. Look at that little lip on the back. I don't recall ever seeing that. Norm got lost in the interior. Look at the size of this car. It's like a 70 feet. Can't find anything. <laughs> If you're a fan of Mopar stuff, he's going to open up the hood here in a second. Inline six, leaning tower of power. There it is. All right, thank you. <laughs> Bye-bye. <sighs> Even the battery, man. Yeah. Power brakes. Oh, that's a bad dude. <laughs> Two fours under there, you say? Two fours. Open it up. Worth more than my life. Oh, that's a bad dude. Oh, look at that. I never noticed that was up there. Oof. Dude. Console going all the way to the back. <laughs> Spinners on the wheels. Yeah. Oh, that's bad. Look at that detail in there. <laughs> Guess what? The car I was foaming at the mouth over when we came in. That's what we're taking to lunch. <laughs> oh. 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 Get, 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 get. I gotta get in here carefully, so I'm gonna put the phone down.
Norm had to run in real quick and find a license plate for this dealer tag. Look, I can't even explain to you how this thing smells in here. In the C5, they would have called this a mod red interior, but uh, red and black here. Dude. Yeah, this is the bad boy here. This is, uh, well, this is the bad boy currently. The ZR1 will be out not too long from now, but look at that wild little, see the little ridge there in the dash? <laughs> it hurts. Can you? Oh, God. <sighs> this represents all that is fine and good in the world. What am I going to say? What am I going to do? <laughs> that was only for like 7,200 also. It'll pull all the way to 85, 8,600 RPMs. What a glory. Man, it's hard to really put into words how this exhaust sounds. Till you're sitting, Because I know that this phone's not going to do it. No, it really doesn't. You just have to hear one in person. Yeah. And outside the car, it sounds just glorious. It's loud. Especially cold start, it is loud. <laughs> Those gear changes. Yeah, because I think the base car did like an 11.2. Yeah, that sounds right. And the CR1, they don't even know yet. Oh. 1,200 pounds of downforce. 1,064 hours. <laughs> and I learned recently, the reason that they've done the reveal on the CR1 so early is... Because we, I don't even know when we're going to see one. And there's only like five of them that have been that have been built, or five or six of them, whatever it is. Yeah. The reason that they did the reveal already is because they couldn't continue all the testing and find out its true limits. With the, the aero the stuff. With the camouflage. Right, off. right. So they had to pull the camouflage off to figure out what top speed was going to be, figure out what downforce was going to be, all that stuff. So that's why they've already done the reveal. Yeah, I've already been sitting there teary-eyed watching Taj talking about it. Yep. And, and the cool little thing they're doing on the glass with his uh, profile, the picture on the glass. Yeah. And, oh, the, and the split window. Oh yeah, dude, yeah. that's like that's like Zora level. Yeah, stuff. What they, and what do they call that? They call that engine the Apollo Genesis, something like that. Anyway, I also saw. I forget. It has something to do with with spaceships or space flight or something. There's little rocket ships. Yes, the little the, yeah. There's on the like turbos. on the yeah yeah on the housing of the turbo. Yeah. I saw that. That's kind of cool. Corvettes have always been cool, but this current generation is practically unbelievable gonna be hard to top because this car right here is a fantastic car mm -hmm. i just rocks oh no yeah. That's how I would crash. <laughs> what were you doing? I was looking at my engine. <laughs> you know, the thing I the thing I do like about the coupe is you can look back and see right. the engine in the coupe. You can't with the convertible. Now this is a 5.5, five, is it a flat plane or? Flat plane crank. Flat plane crank. Yeah. Naturally aspirated doing that. Yep. Man, that sound is just crazy. We're not even speeding. We're not doing anything crazy. Nope. It just sounds like it just, it is so agitated right now. <laughs> well, I remember Steve, the owner of Stingray, I was driving his 
Porsche GT3 one time. And he goes, how you drive these cars is you drive it like you're mad at it. <laughs> and that's how you drive those cars. This, these cars that rev this high, like the Porsches yeah. and the Z06, you can't, be, you can't short shift. You can't be afraid to let it go because you're not going to get the full experience if you're not shifting at 8,500 RPMs. And that's, that's how it is. It's the same way with a motorcycle. Yeah. You get it up banging, especially, remember the old two strokes? Mm -hmm. It'd be nothing, 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 then all of a sudden all the power all at once. Yeah, that's the way these are. They get into a power band at about 6,500. It doesn't even come on until 6,500. I used to think of Corvettes as kind of like, when it was a big block, it was kind of a Mike Tyson. Mm. And this is mixing in a whole lot of Bruce Lee, the agile, the yeah. high revving. The, There's a lot of Floyd Mayweather in this car. <laughs> yeah, a lot of crisp and fast. And I thought these sound good outside. They sound fantastic inside. The guy on the bike's like, oh crap, he's behind me. <laughs> and it is wonderful to drive around town. Yeah. Do we know what that little green thing is up there? That means that I've got enough room between me and the dude in front of me. Oh, a proximity detector, if something, you will. Something like that. <laughs> you are correct. Somebody or another built it. Our boy Adam. Shout out if you're watching. <laughs> built a sweet ride. This is just... This is just crazy. What a car. I'll let you back up and I'll just stand back here and <laughs> <laughs> I hope this phone does this exhaust. <sighs> Smells like freedom. Look at that glorious thing. I just drove it. I tell you what, I've I've driven a couple of uh, C8s, just the standard C8, like one LT, two LT, three LT. This this Z06 is it's my favorite Corvette I've ever driven. This car is absolutely fantastic. I'm not trying to sell one, but I may be trying to buy one. Whew. Guys, if anybody will ever let you drive one of these. Or even get a ride in one. Oh. And I told Norm, I was like, you realize I got to get back in my truck now. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Another quick example before I go. What, we have a Roma here? Ferrari Roma. There's always cool stuff here. Hemi 66 Charger. Bad little 911. Yeah, I think that's a Roma. Check that out. I'm still kind of in the afterglow of that Z06. Made me hungry and thirsty. Remember if you can, if you're gonna stop, if you're gonna buy things, try to get it from the little guy. Like this little store in Picnic. I've been here a couple times before on video. But this is just something straight out of back in the day. Check that out. Love coming here. This building's probably 20, 22 feet wide. <laughs> Hi. Okay, dang it. I had some people ask me recently about that big junkyard I found a while back. Abandoned junkyard is what the video is called here. It's uh, approaching a half million views, so you guys really did like it. We went kind of exploring through all the little nooks and crannies of this really old junkyard that had stuff from all the way back in like the 20s in it. There was even a truck in there that used to belong to a human cannonball. You know when you go to the carnival and the guy gets shot out of the cannon? That was actually right here on this property. And I had somebody ask me about it recently. And that's the same property. There used to be 
just all along here, all along that fence row on the left, there were all these old cars and trucks and stuff and that they're gone forever now. One was a Stewart chassis, uh, kind of a homemade RV thing that a guy who was a human cannonball who traveled all over the South uh, had like the, the cannon that he towed behind the truck and he slept inside it. Fascinating story, that video's on this channel too. But we're almost to the house now, which means today's journey is drawing to a close. I gotta do some stuff on my truck because I'm getting ready for a, a big road trip where I go up north. I'm gonna go through both Carolinas, Alabama, Georgia, Tennessee, Ohio, Indiana, Kentucky. And I'm going to be finding cars and stuff and trucks and things like that. And the reason I'm telling you about this now is because that's the journey where whenever I find anything, I make sure that you know exactly where it is. If there's contact information, if it's on a side road in the middle of nowhere, I'll let you know exactly where it is. So if you're looking for a particular kind of car, truck, mini bike, motorcycle, anything cool, any kind of hot rod stuff, make sure you're watching. That's gonna start in about three weeks from today. And you're just not gonna believe. We travel thousands of miles in one week. So watch every day, make sure you click on the notifications and you'll know about it first. Because I'd hate to see somebody else get your dream car. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.